After parting with Conrad, Belly races towards the marina to catch Cam before his boat leaves. But much to her disappointment, she misses him. Back at the house, Jeremiah cooks breakfast for everyone while Stephen hovers over him, joking around and impatiently waiting for Jeremiah to take him to his first day at work at the country club. As for Conrad, he's hungover and waiting for Jeremiah's hangover cure concoction. Laurel tells the kids that Susanna wants to paint their live portraits and wants to capture their essence while they're still young and full of hope. That's when Belly returns home, looking disappointed about having missed Cameron earlier. When Laurel sees her, she immediately notices the bruise on her cheek from the night before, but Belly lies and says she bumped into someone. Susanna excitedly enters the room, announcing that Belly has agreed to be a debutante. While Laurel seems a little taken aback by Bella's decision, Stephen makes fun of his sister. Susanna is overly excited about this. She offers to pay for everything and plans to take Belly shopping for new outfits. Laurel wonders if this is something Belly really wants because it doesn't seem like her thing and Conrad agrees. Susanna admonishes him and asks him to be more supportive. When asked which one of her two sons would be Bella's escort, both Conrad and Jeremiah refuse to take her and Belly simply announces that she doesn't need them because she will find her own date. When Conrad goes swimming, Belly can't help but wistfully admire him from afar, and though she feels conflicted about him now, Belly is still drawn to him. Belly goes shopping with Laurel and Susanna who buys Belly all kinds of new dresses for the summer. While trying outfits for the debutante ball, Belly regrets his decision of having said yes to this. The dress Susanna finally picks for Belly doesn't seem like something Belly likes, but she goes with her choice anyway. At the country club, Jeremiah and Stephen work their jobs and Stephen especially feels happy to earn some extra money so he doesn't have to reside with his mom in his freshman year of college. After his swim, Conrad tries to sneak upstairs but Susanna catches him. She asks him to sit for his portrait as he's the only one who doesn't have anything else to do at the time, and Conrad has no choice but to comply. Jeremiah and Stephen josh around during lunch as Jeremiah points to all the people that he has kissed. Just then, Shayla, a girl Stephen is interested in, walks by and Jeremiah points out that he has never kissed her. Seeing his interest in Shayla, Jeremiah warns Stephen not to end up saying yes to being her escort for the ball because if he does, he'll get sucked into that world, and it'll blow up his whole summer. As Stephen considers that, he gets called to wait at the debutante tea. As Laurel drops off Belly at the country club for her first debutante tea, she worries about Belly. She makes sure that Belly knows she can abort the mission anytime. Belly assures her that she'll be fine but Laurel still insists that Belly can text her their code phrase Lemon Jelly Belly from when she was little and she will be right there to pick her up. No judgments. On her way, Belly runs into Jeremiah who doesn't recognize her for a second. Belly asks him for his honest opinion on how she looks and Jeremiah playfully assures her that she looks good. He walks her over to the tea room. Belly becomes the object of scrutiny as she enters the room. Jeremiah has a playful interaction with the coordinator, Paige, who then remarks that Belly is late and assigns her a table. Wishing her luck, Jeremiah leaves Belly there. That's when she spots the people on her table and the only thing that comes to her mind is Lemon Jelly Belly. She spots the girl Conrad was kissing on the beach, as well as the one she had seen with her brother that night. Belly hesitantly approaches the table and takes a seat. Belly dreads being in this situation when Shayla very politely breaks the ice and offers to hide Bella's visible bruise with some makeup. While painting him, Susanna tries asking Conrad about his life and Nicole, his girlfriend, but Conrad doesn't respond well to her probing. He'd rather his mother did not turn this into a bonding experience. When Susanna can't seem to get anything out of him, she talks to him about Belly, saying that she looked very pretty in her new dress. But Conrad's reaction only irks her and she makes it clear that though she can't stop him from moping around, she won't allow him to sleep until two and day drink. She wants him to be productive and find a job this summer to which Conrad agrees without protest. Back at the debutante tea, the girls get talking when Nicole tells them about Belly's situation with the Fisher boys. When one of the girls asks Belly about her situation with Jeremiah, Nicole steps in and tells them how they are practically related since Belly has been visiting them her whole life. They even make fun of Shayla for being so into Stephen and Belly feels revolted at the mention of her brother in that context. The girls ask her, wondering what it's like to reside with the Fisher boys, especially Conrad who is so mysterious, but Belly is saved from answering when the coordinator starts talking. She introduces the girls to what being a debutante is, while the girls around Bella's table sneak alcohol into their teas. When Paige announces that each table has a big sister who will guide the Debs through this season, Belly finds out that Nicole is her big sister. And despite Bella's reservations about the girl, Nicole is extremely sweet and polite and makes Belly feel comfortable. Just then, Belly spots Cameron walking by in the corridor and excuses herself. She excitedly runs to him and Cameron is surprised to see her, even more when finds out that Belly is a Deb this season. Belly tells him that she went down to the marina but missed him. Cam is a little bummed to know that and to make up for it, he asks Belly if she'd go to a drive-in movie with him later that evening. Belly readily agrees to it and they exchange numbers. Later, when Belly is getting ready for her date, her mother thinks she's coming with them to her book party but is a little surprised to find out about Belly's movie date. 
Though Laurel isn't against it, she is a little surprised to find that out from Susanna and not Belly herself. But she agrees to let her go and have fun. When Belly gets downstairs, the boys are playing video games. Jeremiah is the first one to notice her and is left mesmerized by how hot she looks. Stephen berates him for flirting with his sister but even he has to admit Belly looks really nice. But Conrad has no words to offer. The boys wonder where Belly's headed but she rushes out, only waiting enough to glance at herself in the mirror. She blushes at her reflection and Conrad watches Belly with disguised longing as she walks away. Outside, she gets into Cam's car. Cam compliments her look and they leave for the movies. I'm the electric darkness of the car, Belly and Cam sit nervously next to each other as they both hesitate to make the first move. But eventually, with butterflies in her stomach, Belly hesitantly reaches out to hold Cam's hand. While Jeremiah and Stephen goof around at the party, Conrad keeps himself busy with drinking. Cleveland Castillo arrives at Laurel's book signing and strikes up a conversation with her as he compliments her book. Laurel is surprised to know that he has read her book. The man tries to flirt with her but Laurel remains painfully oblivious to it. She finds out that Cleveland's next book will be centered around sailing and that the man is completely lost at sea when it comes to it. His problem lights a bulb in Laurel's head and she calls Conrad over. She introduces Conrad to Cleveland and lets the man know about Conrad's excellent sailing skills. Cleveland dubiously asks if Conrad would be interested in giving him some lessons and hands him his card, which makes Conrad wonder if his mother put Laurel up to this. He makes an abrupt exit, leaving Laurel confused about his behavior. The boys are getting bored at the event and think of places they could go to when Stephen suggests going to the drive-in. Jeremiah isn't interested in watching Belly hooking up with some guy, but that gets Conrad's attention and he agrees to go to the drive-in. At the movies, Belly wants to know more about Cameron's interest in marine biology and as she listens to him talk about it, she can't help but be impressed at how passionately Cameron feels about this. And then she can't stop thinking about kissing him. Before her kiss with Cameron, Belly had only ever kissed boys during Spin the Bottle, but never when it meant something to either of them. And now, she really wants to kiss Cam and is overwhelmed with the feeling. They both lean in together, but just before they can kiss, a car pulls up next to them. Belly recognizes her brother and the boys and she quickly asks Cam if he can get her something to drink. As the boy leaves, Belly storms out of the car and indignantly screams at her brother to leave her alone. The boys laugh and tease her about her date but Belly is furious at them. She threatens Stephen to tell everyone about his Draco X Hermione fanfic if he doesn't jet, and annoyedly looks Conrad in the eye, asking them to leave her alone. It affects Conrad in a way he can't explain and he gets the boys to leave. When Belly gets back in the car, she makes no move to kiss Cam again. Later that night, Stephen sneaks out of the house to go see Shayla at the beach and Cameron drops Belly back home. He tells her that he had a great time with her and wonders if she did too. She did. In fact, she doesn't make a move to get out of the car because she doesn't want the night to end. Cam finally asks Belly if he can kiss her and she gives him permission to. The two kiss and end their date on a perfect note. Meanwhile, Laurel finally gets to read Cleveland's book. And as for Stephen, he spends some intimate moments with Shayla on the beach. And when she eventually asks him if he'd like to be her date to the debutante ball, despite Jeremiah's prior warning, Stephen readily says yes. Belly finally bids Cam goodnight and returns home, smiling and giggling. She runs into Conrad in the kitchen who asks her how her hot date was. Seeing him irks Belly to no extent as she is reminded of what he and the boys had done previously. Conrad asks her to relax but Belly is in no mood to listen to him. She calls him out for ruining her first date with a guy she really liked. Conrad scoffs at that, saying that his little visit couldn't have ruined her entire date but Belly feels even more angered by his pretend obliviousness. She gets mad at him and tells him to admit to the fact that he only came there to remind her of his existence. Conrad feigns innocence even though Belly knows that he cares about her going on a date with another guy but Conrad still won't admit it. And as they part, having argued with each other, Belly can't help but feel like her crush on Conrad has finally ended. 